Hey, Grant Hoske here with our enterprise ecosystem solution partner, Flightbase. And what would you say is the one biggest hurdle you've been able to help customers deploying the dock to overcome that was maybe a challenge for them when they were thinking about getting started? Yeah. I think reliability has been the challenge in the docking station industry and as DJI introduced the docking station, it became really, really reliable, right? And people were able to deploy it at a remote site and they do not have to worry about going for regular maintenance or maybe drone not landing on the dock. So once that base layer is set, they're able to think of multiple use cases because they may get started with just say security, but all of a sudden they say, hey, I'm on a security, I'm on a construction site, I want to do photogrammetry as well. So they have now crossed the hurdles of uh, like the trust and the technology, they know this is going to work. They can do the entire operations and have it remotely done from the command center. Awesome, and from the flight base side, for our viewers who may not be as familiar, could you describe what Flightbase does for the DJI dock? Flightbase provides an enterprise drone autonomy platform. You can think of it as a glue. You can bring the docking station, the drone, and integrate with different pieces. So be it like integration with UTM for beam loss, integrations with alarm sensors, integration with data processing, as well as it ensures the data security layer. So it provides you all the certification compliance as well as it also provides you on-premise and air gap solution. So if you are looking to deploy the entire software on a private server, that is possible. We have a concept of flinks, which are flight-based link. So you, we have different kind of flinks available on the platform. So if you are looking to fly in an airspace where you need a visual detection system to see corporate or non-corporate aircraft, because maybe FAA is asking you to integrate that, you can have that seamless integration and get that data inside FlightBase. And then you have protocols where it can automatically detect aircraft and bring the drone down to a certain altitude. Similarly, if you're looking to add a parachute, we have a parachute right here from our partners. You can have the entire parachute on the flight bay, uh, dashboard where you can launch the parachute or have the entire telemetry on this drone. Now, this kind of integration really helps our partners uh, to get the BVLOS compliance depending upon which airspace they are in and what their regulatory authorities are asking them for. So be it a detect and avoid, be it like parachutes, UTM integration, Flybase has all of that in the platform. Hey everybody out here, Commercial UAV. Great to be here with Christian from Thanks, a Linux and BAM Tech. I guess first of all, just curious, kind of maybe what's the biggest adoption barrier you've been seeing folks run into and how you guys have been able to help folks overcome that. Yeah, I think um, some of the biggest adoption barriers that we've seen with the dock systems right now is um, kind of understanding how they're going to integrate these into the automated workflows um, and dealing with some of the logistical issues with the national airspace. Uh, it's the primary things that we have seen as challenges and some of the ways that we've helped them is by being able to show them the DJI ecosystem and how easy a lot of those pieces have been put together, especially with Flight Hub 2, mm -hmm. and how simple it is either to store that information and in the existing infrastructure that DJ offers or to put it on their own cloud structure um, within Flight Hub 2. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And getting into some of the you know, use cases you all have been deploying for, where have you seen the you know, value for the, the DAC solution so far? kind of being able to be deployed for, for folks. Yeah, so I think that the place where the docks are the most disruptive are things that um, need, obviously, persistent, continuous collection. And so we're all pretty familiar with what some of those different public safety applications are, but there's also plenty of applications within the geospatial market mm -hmm. where we continuously want to go and monitor and measure the same site over and over again, uh, both in time series for thermal data uh, or conventional topographical mapping, uh, both with the, um, the Dock 1 or the Dock 2 with the uh, M3D or the M3DT uh, mm -hmm. system. Some examples that we have seen is using it to have time series of temperature changes over time, mm -hmm. of different infrastructure and getting insight into the, uh, that infrastructure by looking at how things heat up and cool down differently. Um, especially in the bridges. So we have an application that we um, are working with systems to understand how 
those surfaces change temperature over time differently, which gives us clues to the health of the infrastructure. From a development standpoint, it's been pretty easy to work with. We're able to easily integrate it with AWS infrastructure that's being custom built. Um, that's been pretty straightforward. The documentation has been very good. Uh, the waypoint planning uh, is pretty straightforward and pretty easy to work with. Awesome. Excited to see you all here at Commercial UAV. Uh, tell us a little bit about Propeller and what it helps uh, DJI users out with. So Propeller is a smart survey platform. And what we do is we allow our customers to map, measure, and monitor their work sites. What have you guys been working on for customers who have the DJI Dock 2 but are looking to utilize the Propeller platform? Yeah, so we've been working on an integration so we can seamlessly get data from the dock onto the propeller platform. Uh, from there, customers will be able to measure, uh, perform stockpile analysis, uh, run other analytics on the data, and uh, yeah, work on a seamless integration from the dock uh, straight to propeller. When users have that workflow set up, you know, what are some of the value points the propeller solution is bring in and some of the pain points you're helping resolve? For our customers, it's being super simple to use. You know, we have uh, thousands of construction companies that are using our software and for them to be able to see very simply upload data from the dock without having to worry about uh, understanding the transmission process has been really the key for our customers to, uh, to use this new technology. Uh, dock 2 represents a new way for companies to use autonomous data from drones. And we think there's huge opportunities out there as this technology develops and as our customers, the, the construction industry itself, start to use this technology. And Adam, could you tell me, in a couple sentences, what can Drone Harmony do for DJI Dock users? Yeah, the ecosystem that we focused on was introducing uh, 3D. We always saw that 3D was the next level of dimension for operators to get more out of the equipment. And for us, the DJI hardware is leagues above capability. It delivers such a good product and we are trying to focus on solutions. So with our 3D focus, it's all around trust of the mission. So if we can give the customer the ability to plan a mission using a standard drone or a dock and have trust that it's gonna do exactly what they planned it to do and get exactly the photograph that they need, it, clicking the launch button is so much easier. And really that's the key thing that we focus on with our point cloud planning and our integration with the system. Um, and we just, honestly, we couldn't be happier with how, how high quality the, the hardware is. So our customers are exceptionally happy with the deliverables. What are some of the you know, struggles or barriers you'd be able to, able to kind of help them overcome? The reality is it's quite a lot that goes into setting it up, even from site assessment. So the partnership network of the dealers and of the software providers to actually introduce and get the dock set up so it's fully functional is a hurdle that I think a lot of people underappreciate. And, and with the dealers and the, the implementers that are putting these things, they are really the heroes in starting a program. And then the hardware speaks for itself and our software hopefully delivers the types of value that they, they get return of investment. Absolutely, and when it comes to the software, what deployment options do you offer for customers on site who may be looking at different deployment options? Uh, we have a full cloud deployment. We have a local cloud deployment where a customer can actually install uh, our stack on their cloud and we also have a fully air gap version for the extra security conscious customer that could deploy it behind a firewall or in an entirely air gapped installation and our software allows full utilization of the the product architecture well, that's awesome and I guess finally maybe what are some of the use cases you've seen folks deploying the sure. dock alongside the drone harmony software so far yep well obviously allowing a pilot to log into a system and fly a drone from their bed in the middle of the night. Um, that's, that's always a, a good value proposition, particularly for the utility sector that have uh, trips in substations and emergencies and bits and pieces. Rapid response is one of the big ones. Um, the other one which we're finding at the moment is, is a safety orientated one where there's analog gauges in difficult to get to places that regulations require these gauges to be inspected regularly. So rather than a guy climbing up into an unsafe situation, we're training the drone through our uh, mission, mission learning algorithms. So the pilot flies the drone, it learns it, and then we repeat those missions. 
Uh, that's, re that's removing the person from going into those dangerous spots completely and scheduling them every two hours. So um, that was something that solved a problem we didn't even realize was so big, but the customer couldn't have been happier with, with that type of use case.